The following program is rated M for my wife. All right, so today's lesson is brought to you by the letter H. And our first word is actually straight out the comments. I want to thank you, Tom, for suggesting this. And I actually thank you guys all for subscribing, continue to like, watch, share, all that good stuff. So let's get into it. First word is Hamgachan or Hamgaling. You know what the fuck I'm saying. But <laughs> Hamgachan basically means, well, Hamga means entire family. Chan means shovel or dig or whatever. But for whatever reason, when you put it together, you're basically telling someone to die. Like you're telling their whole family to die. You're telling them, I guess, to dig their own grave, right? Which is super fucked up when you break it down like that. But when you look at it from another angle, there's really no uh, profane words in it, like no vulgar words in it. So a lot of people just use this into day-to-day -day life to express frustration. You know what I mean? Like you stub your toe, it's like, ah, I'm God, huh? Or like, you know, your Tinder date shows up and looks nothing like the profile. It's like, ah, I'm God, huh? You know, like just kind of basic shit, right? The only time you would use it, I guess, to express someone's uh, whole family dying is if you play video games and shit or PUBG or COD and you shoot them and then instead of them crawling around the floor they turn into the box instantly then you know yo that team they all dead man nothing to worry about okay so this word really depends on the setting and how you're gonna use it right the, the vulgarity of it is based on that um, but yeah if you do use it to threaten or trying to curse someone's whole family yeah you fucked up man you need help for real I'm sorry there's nothing I can do for you, you know? Let's move on to the next word, which, <laughs> buckle up, guys. Shit's about to get real. Next word is hi. Now, hi uh, is super vulgar. You should definitely not be using this around people you um, are worried about. No, like, you don't use this at work, man. Don't, don't use this with coworkers. Don't use this around your boss. Don't use this around... You know, just don't use this unless you know how to use it in a funny way. Which, I'm going to fucking show you how, baby! <laughs> so, hi is female genitalia, right? Or in other words... Can't... You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying, man. It, it's it's fucking rough ride from here on out, okay? So, whenever you want to call a guy or a girl a... Can't... Right? You just call him a high-low or a high pop. Right? Now I'm going to teach you a nice low-key way to call a dude a hello. It's just easy. When you greet him, you just go, hello, hello. You say quick. Sounds like you're saying hello twice. No one ever catches on. I used to use this all the time when I was working as a waiter. I used to greet my manager every fucking shift. I would greet him like this because he's a piece of shit and he really is a hello. I wish I had this picture put up here. I ain't trying to get sued, but, you know, well, fuck. What he's going to do, fucking hello? That guy's straight up, man. Anyways. Let me not get off on a tangent. Like, if you want to up that, up that, uh, this or up the, the highness, you call them a saw height. So what's a saw height? Saw height just means a silly, Kent. you know what I mean? It's just straight up. Like, you just call them dumb, but you add it in the height, right? You know, you're a dumb height, you're a silly height, right? So that's saw height. What's a good example of a saw height? Everyone in this TV show is a saw height. Like... Holy fuck. I, I don't even know how you parents watch this show and not wonder what your life would be. That Like if instead of kids, you had a tiger. I'm sorry, man. It just seems like a better fucking investment. I don't know, man. Look, I don't know anything about tigers. Look, I got all my teeth. So, you know, I got a tiger, right? Now, we're going to get into the grittiest use of high. And honestly, not a lot of people use this. Only OGs, like only motherfuckers that look like this usually use this term, but chow hai. That basically means stinky pussy, you know what I mean? Uh, usually they use it as as, as an add-on, man. Just as if, as if Dule Lomo, which we went over, which went over before, uh, the last video of how harsh that is, you're saying fuck your moms, right? Usually, these OGs add this at the end of the Dulé Lo Mo, and they're just saying, yo, fuck your mom, stinky pussy. Like, yo, how fucking sick is that? That's just mean, man. I never use these terms, for real. I don't even, like, feel comfortable saying it. But, you know, I got to show you guys the truth, you know? But with that said, how it also is used very diversely. I'm telling you, man, I don't get it, yo. Like, when it comes to genitalia, you 
fucking you just switch it up sometimes. So we're going to term la hai. Now technically some people use this meaning uh, kind of lingus or going down on a chick, but it also means or it's also used to express like failing. You know what I mean? Like something didn't work out, right? Like your plans failed. Like today's plans, lai hai, man, the lai jo hai. Now, lai jo hai is to use in like the past tense, right? Jo is a suffix, a Chinese suffix to show that, that it's past. I don't use Chinese suffixes because I learned English ones. So I just add the ed at the end of my Chinese words. No one really likes this. No one really understands this, but I do it. So when I fucking fail or something doesn't work out, I say lai jo hai. Okay, you know, like, oh Tim, how did your YouTube video go? Lie that high, man. Ain't nobody watching that shit, right? Or how did the stand up go? Yo, lie that high, nobody laughed. From shit like that, all right? That's how you can use it. And feel free to add the ed or English suffix suffixes to any Chinese verbs or whatever. It sounds better, I think. It sounds more funny. Um, another use of high where it doesn't mean hunt is um. Uh, Hi me. I guess it could mean, and to be honest, it sounds funnier in English than it does in Chinese. But hi mean basically means pussy face, which I don't know in English it sounds way funnier. Um, but again, it's not a it's not a literal translation. You're not saying someone's face like they had a clit on their forehead or some shit. You're just saying it like they got an upset face. You know what I mean? Like they look pissed, right? It's that. Some girls will call it the look, you know, that look they give you when you know you're in trouble. The girls call it the look, but really, that's a hi mean, man. They just upset, fucking trying to ruin your day, giving you like dirty, judgy looks. Like, yo, fuck off, man. Don't fucking give me that hi mean. And actually, to be fair to you ladies, I know a lot of guys that do hi mean too, which is it's pretty whack, you know what I mean? Like, yo, some dudes do that. Like, if you ever have a group setting and then all you guys outvote one dude and he gets all upset and he has that little fucking shitty face, that's a hi mean. Okay? You can call him on that shit. Be like, yo, don't give me your hi mean. I ain't your fucking kids. Leave that shit at home, dog. Okay? Anyways, I think that's pretty deep for today's lesson. So we're gonna stop the right here, guys. Please again keep commenting and if you got any suggestions or words you want to go through, let's try them out. Peace. Zai Jian.